Welcome, guys. I know you don't miss me. You don't know about the ear. You know, the ear is a little mess. Gotta get it groomed and all these things. But nevertheless, I'm still here. I know so you don't miss the little story time. And today, I have a story for you. So, you know, grab a little snap man and draw a chair and sit down. Yeah. So before we get into this story time today, guys, please remember to subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Like up the video, share it out, share it if you care, comment, comment as much as possible and turn on that notification bell of yours. So as soon as i post a video you will be notified just click the little bell over there so and click up at the top at all so you know say all of my video them when i will get notified okay so enough of the introduction and all these things let me just get right into this story time <laughs> So, I guess all are ready. I'm seated and I'm selected. Cheers. Yes, I'm ready for the story time. All right, so it's a story now. I was 18, I can remember. I you know it's a girl, true girl, have our baby friend, she's young, and all these things. So, you know, so we have a goat and do they do? Do they work? Me, I talk about don't get carried away. Yes, we have to work to make ends meet. So, uh, I was looking in the newspaper and I saw where there was a vacancy for a housekeeper, you know, help, slash helper, all of these things. So, it was in Portmore. And, you know, a girl brave up herself because, yes, I was so in need at the time. So, I said, All right. They say they want somebody to take care of two children, right? So, I said, All right. Make a max up, max up a thing. Yeah, make a max see up. So, me say, all right, me call the number, make arrangement, and we said we we're going to meet at the mall. So, girl, prepare early in the morning, man. Prepare early. And me set out the morning and meet up with the person. Everything went smoothly and all of that. So, I went there and, um, um my note say i had provision to stay so me pack all of my clothes them and that because i live in something so you know you have to stay there so i went by her house and we sit down and we have a little meeting me you know we know go for take care of two children i've been mind to take care of two children when we go and get to understand me have to take care of the two people them mother and father because the woman hardly can't take care of this self herself i don't want to discriminate anybody but may i tell us that the size of her body she's unable to bend down to take off her underwear to even pick it up off the floor when she take it off so you know a girl of your google true so me say all right me go wear all of the ads and all of this let me see what it's all about me have to take care of the, the children you know be it all of that first because i got school you know all of that look after them breakfast and me look after the in them breakfast and you know, say me have to go look after the husband and wife breakfast the woman when he maga work in a man he just step out of the clothes and left it right there the man have to help the woman put on in clothes and all of this because Whatever, maybe the cause of her being that size. I don't know if it's a health issue or something, or she over it or something. Of because I don't want to judge because things can happen, right? So, um, 
I have to tell myself, the girl, you can do this, you can do this, you know, you can do this because at the end of the day, my arm, my candles go empty and the light that me have, I have a child to feed, pampas to buy food, feed. If we say buy all these things, so I have to make this work. So I tell myself, you know, I have to make this work. I can't just boom empty and it like that. So whatever the situation, I will work with it. Alright, so when you come out to the panty, I say, no, so I can't deal with this. I just drink it up with one stick and put it one side. Because I say, me, Susie girl, me. If you wash them they with my hand, and she has to wash them in the machine to wash them with hand, she crazy. I don't answer, you know, but in my mind, I say, me, I don't wash nobody's drawers with my hand. You must be crazy, you must be mad. So I just put them aside, right? So day by day, me go on, man, I go on. So my time, I lie down and I cry because, you know, the situation, and you don't know, we are old, we get money and all of that, you at a tender age, you think about. What you can't do and so or what you want to do, you can't get to do at the time, but you just have to do it just to survive. You understand? I don't know if anyone I know ever in this situation, guys. Let me know in the comment section if anyone I know ever in this spot where you have to do something to make something ends meet. It's not what you wish to do, but you have to just do it in the meantime to make something meet. So, no, let me know in the comment section. One, go on. So, this go by this what me go on me work with the progress and the thing is that you know then just in a move from one other house come at this house which are the new house so they have one room a clothes for full and what they wash and what press and all of these things so me have to do all of that and so so um continue continue i'm going on two weeks because i two weeks before me get paid but me have my plan in mind because me a plan say when me get that the two weeks pay, then I see me back because me can't deal with this. This is too much for me to handle. So I go and work with it, go and work with it, full up at the time, tidy house, do whatever me can do and so. And then the man, you know, me thinks so that the man are working and every day the man sit down there watch me. Like a watchman, instead of gonna find something though, because the thing is that you know, in younger than the woman, you know, so it come like say, I'm talk to the woman for your money because the woman in a one good, sustainable job, nice care, and all these things. So, the woman have little, you know, little thing in her pocket, but the man now is all about these girls or whatever. So, when the lady gonna work, he get the care and gone out. With women and all these things are in Sudan there. I watch me and this and me say no sir. Me can't take a watch man. I don't want nobody to and watch me and this and that because me and I bag a talk me come here to work and whatever they did kiss them and all that so cut cut long story short yes to win time the two we up now and me get the little money in my hand girl pack her bag for in the night I don't say M I pack my bag for in the night and keep it in mind at first I got put more you know I don't know where to take one bus to come back to my yard you know but I say yeah, I'm not staying here one more day and I pack my clothes for overnight you know and when I get the pay I put it on and I talk and I say what I got to do in the morning and I say yeah, yeah. What I'm gonna do in the morning? What I'm gonna do in the morning? You understand me? I say so. In the early morning, I'ma take time. I'ma squeeze it through the door. I'ma look at my sleep. I'ma squeeze, you know. I'm coolly grill, you know. I'm go through the door. One time, I go through the door. Me just man, they say Susie. I then call me Susie, Susie. And know Susie, I'ma pet me, I'ma write me, I'ma Susan. The Susie. I'ma just run through the door, you know. And I don't look back at me to see if them have come after me or whatever. And same time, I see one big yellow chichi white bus. They call it chichi white bus. I be run straight in. I go there after three to come. I think I go somewhere else. Me that go there. 
And then take one other bus come and RPG. Straight at my yard. Never to return. Me just block their number. So if they might call me, they can't get me. Oh my God, it was a disaster. So, that's one of my little experience. I was younger, trying to make ends meet, you know. So, I don't know if someone can relate to this experience. On have been through something like this, I have met me know. Because it is real. It is real as it is. It is real. A reality. So... This is what I have for you today, guys. So I hope you enjoy the little story time. Until our next video. Bye. Yeah!